this quick demo video, I will cover creating a job from dispatch based off the availability of your service technicians. Let's pretend that a client that we have serviced previously is having a heating problem and is asking that we stop by at 9 a.m. today. So starting from our dispatch screen to the far left, I can view all of my service technicians. From this view, I can easily see that Max is available during that time frame. Right click and choose job. Doing this will send me to the create a job screen, but it also inserts Max as the service tech and plugs in the date along with the arrival time. Since we know that this is an existing customer, I can search using the first three letters of the customer or company name, find my customer, the system pulls up their information automatically. Beneath the service location, I have an area for my job description, which on this work order would be no heat. If provided with a purchase order number, you can track that on this work order as well. Towards the top, we have a toolbar. The second folder contains customizable fields. In Service Fusion, you can rename these fields to say whatever you would like, so the admin or service technician can track it and it's all connected to this work order. You can attach as many relevant photos or documents as you would like. You can also attach equipment to this work order as well. On the right, we have an area for you to plug in notes for your service technician. So if there is a different contact person, there may be a dog in the front yard, you can key that information in here. The service technician can view that via the field worker app. As a courtesy for all of our customers, we import your entire product and service catalog at no additional cost. So if you need to add charges at the admin level, you can type in the first three letters of the charge, find it via your product catalog, and it's added to the work order. At this point, we're ready to save our job. So for most of our customers, it literally takes 60 seconds to create a work order, and then you're on to the next task. Once a job is created, the system will assign it a job number in the upper left. At the admin level, you can take a deposit, or you can create an invoice with one click of a button when the time comes. If you would like to add a reminder, you can click Add New, and the system will allow you to designate whether this is for the customer or the service technician on the morning of the job, and how do you want this to be deployed? So you can have the system email the customer. Now, a lot of our customers really like this because you can attach a photo or a service technician via several tags that can be added. You can text message the customer or call the customer directly. So when I choose my template, which in this case would be an email template, Again, you can attach a photo of your service technician, maybe a bio about the guy. A lot of our residential clients, they really like this because they want to know who's coming out to their property. Click Save, and it's connected to the work order here. Now, when I go to the dispatch screen, I can now see that work order has no heat description, and everything is set up the way it needs to be. From the service technician's perspective, I'll pull up the field worker app, and the service technician would go into My Work, they can view their job assignment for today. Here is the work order for some property partners, no heat. Click on it and then view the job description and what needs to be done. Thank you so much for taking a moment to watch this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at 888-902-0304. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Have a great day.